I'm your host, Jalen Brooks, and today we're tackling the big one, the singularity. Can artificial intelligence actually surpass human intelligence? And if it does, what's next? We're talking about super intelligent AI, folks. And I'm just itching to hear what my fellow panelists, Nia Walker and Emma Hayes, think. So let's get right into it. Nia, what are your initial thoughts on the technical feasibility of creating super intelligent AI, considering current advancements? Well, Jalen, when we talk about the technical feasibility, it's crucial to look at where we are right now. We've made incredible strides in machine learning, especially with deep neural networks. But reaching superintelligence requires more than just scaling up these current models. We need fundamental breakthroughs in areas like artificial general intelligence, which is still very much in its infancy. Current AI excels at specific tasks, but lacks the broad, flexible reasoning of human intelligence. So, we're talking about a paradigm shift, which is not a given just yet. Okay, Nia, I think you're being a bit too conservative, you know? While it's true that current AI is task-specific, the rate of progress is exponential. We're seeing advancements in areas like neuromorphic computing and quantum machine learning that could very well be the game changers. These aren't just incremental improvements. We are talking about fundamental shifts in how we process information. And I believe that these advancements will actually accelerate the path to artificial general intelligence much faster than we anticipate. So I think we are closer than you think. Okay, okay, Emma, I see your point about exponential progress, and I kind of like your optimism, you know? But let's not get ahead of ourselves just yet. I mean, neuromorphic computing and quantum machine learning are still very much in the research phase. They're not exactly ready for prime time, right? So while I agree that the pace is rapid, we're still a ways off from having a super intelligent AI ready to go. Now, Nia, what do you think about the potential risks? Well, Jalen, the potential risks are frankly terrifying. We're not just talking about machines that can do our jobs better. We're talking about entities with intelligence that could surpass our own by so much that it is hard to fathom. The biggest fear, and it's a legitimate one, is the loss of control. If a super intelligent AI doesn't share our values, or if its goals are simply not aligned with human well-being, we could face existential threats. Unintended consequences are virtually guaranteed given the complexity of such a system. Okay, Nia, I hear you. And honestly, the thought of losing control is definitely chilling. It's like we're playing with fire and we don't even know if we have a fire extinguisher handy, you know? The idea of an AI not aligning with our values is a real concern and it's something we have to take seriously. I mean, unintended consequences are a given. I am very curious what Emma thinks about this. I understand the fear, Jalen, but I think we need to approach this with a more technical mindset. The idea of an unaligned superintelligence isn't just a philosophical problem. It's an engineering challenge. We need to be proactive in developing robust safety mechanisms, like formal verification of AI goals and fail-safe protocols. It's not about just hoping for the best. It's about engineering for safety from the ground up. The risks are massive, yes, but they are not insurmountable with the right technical approach. Okay, Emma, I appreciate your technical optimism, you know? It's good to hear that there are some concrete ideas on how to keep this super intelligent genie in the bottle. I mean, formal verification and fail-safe protocols sound good on paper, but let's see how they hold up in the real world, right? We're dealing with something that could be way beyond our current comprehension. Now, let's hear from Nia on the potential benefits of this super intelligence. Well, Jalen, the potential benefits of superintelligent artificial intelligence are indeed transformative if we manage to navigate the risks. We're talking about an unprecedented acceleration in scientific discovery. Imagine AI solving the most complex problems in medicine, climate change, and energy at a pace we simply cannot achieve on our own. It could also enhance human capabilities, enabling us to live healthier, more fulfilling lives. The key is to ensure these benefits are realized for all of humanity, not just a select few. I agree with Nia. The potential benefits are truly revolutionary. Imagine the speed at which we could find cures for diseases or develop sustainable energy solutions. Superintelligent AI could also optimize our resource allocation, leading to a world with less poverty and inequality. It's not just about solving problems. It's about creating a future where human potential is maximized and we can achieve things that we can only dream of today. It's an exciting prospect and it is something we should aspire to. Okay, okay, Emma and Nia, I'm with you both on the potential upsides. I mean, who wouldn't want a super AI solving all our problems, right? But you know, it's also a bit like wishing on a star. We might get what we want, but it could also come with a whole lot of unexpected baggage. 
So it's definitely a wild ride ahead. And I, for one, am curious to see where it takes us. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Channel 41 for more mind-bending content.